peppermint or menta paprika, whose common names are brandy mint, balm mint, curled mint, and lamb mint. You can use the leaves or the oil. The medicinal properties are aromatic, stimulant, stomachic, carminative, and rubifacent description and uses. This is one of the oldest household remedies and should be in every garden as it, is, as it grows very prolifically. Excellent remedy for chills, colic, fevers, dizziness, flatulence, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, dysentery, cholera, heart trouble, palpitation of the heart, influenza, la gripe, and hysteria. Applied externally is good for rheumatism, neuralgia, neuralgia, and headache. Peppermint enemas are excellent for cholera and colon trouble. It is especially useful for convulsions and spasms in infants. Peppermint is a general stimulant. A strong cup of peppermint tea will act more powerfully on the system than any liqueur stimulant, quickly diffusing itself through the system and bringing back to the body its natural warmth and glow without the usual tendency to relapse. It is good in case of sudden fainting or dizziness with extreme coldness and pale countenance. Useful for griping pains caused by eating unripe fruit or irritating foods. Do not drink coffee and tea which are harmful. Coffee weakens the heart muscle. Peppermint tea is delicious and strengthens your heart muscle. Coffee hinders digestion, is a cause of constipation, and poisons the body. Peppermint tea cleanses and strengthens the entire body. Give it a fair trial and see how much better you feel when you leave off coffee and tea and drink peppermint tea. Instead of using aspirin or some other harmful drug for headaches, take a cup of peppermint tea as strong as you like it, lie down for a little while and see what a good effect it has on you. If need be, drink two or three cups so that enough gets into the system to help you. You will not be disappointed. It strengthens the nerves instead of weakening them as aspirin and other drugs do. If the tea is not at hand, take some of the leaves, leaves and chew them up until you can swallow them easily. This will start your food digesting and assist the entire body in doing its work more normally. Use one ounce of the herb in a pint of boiling water and sweeten with some honey if desired. You may also use 5 to 15 drops of the liquid extract in a cup of water. And welcome back to my channel. And today is a tea time story time about the first time I ever went to a witchy shop. So, 
so either my sophomore or my junior year, me and some friends had decided to pull a The Craft episode and decided to skip school during, um, we called it summer reads, we read books during the summer and then we would go to like a special class about the book. I read the book, so I'm not saying you should skip class to go to a witch witchy shop, but I did. So I had spent time looking for witchy shops in my area the night before, and I only came across one, which is sadly still the case now, but back then I was so excited. It, when I did do some research on it, there were two addresses. One was closer than the other, but both of the addresses were still pretty far away. Um, so we went to the first address first. And it was like 15 to 20 minutes away, maybe even 25. Um, but we left school, I guess it was after first and second period, so it would have been, summer reads would have been third period. So we left, and we were gone for maybe, I guess summer reads was like either 45 to an hour class. Um, so we had time to spare, so we went and it was located in this sort of cabin looking plaza and the shop was called Belladonna's and just the energy had me feeling like that first scene in the craft where they asked Sarah to, if that, if she wanted to go to, or go with them to a shop. And so we walked in, and for me, because I was really the only person out of my group of friends that, like, really started practicing this stuff, it was like a special moment for me because it was my first time at a witchy shop. But we walked in, and there was a little bookshelf full of books on one side of the store, and then on the other side of the store was a little herb section and a corner, and then some statues and some crystals. They were mainly like bigger stones for like a chakra cleansing and stuff like that. But the first time I went to the witchy shop was when I got that selenite wand. Um, but I went with how many friends? Four? Georgia, Carolina, Magna Carta, and Orlando. And Magna Carta ended up getting a rose quartz, and then Orlando got a, it was a Chinese coin, it was for like luck and prosperity I think, and oh, and our friend uh, Jupiter went with us too. So, or no she didn't. Did she? No, she didn't. Um, but, I don't know, it was so invigorating to be able to be a part of a community that really you don't see around here very often. Like, still to this day there's Belladonna's. That's the closest witchy shop to us. And that's still pretty far away. Um, 
The shop had originally been closer to the University of South Carolina, and then she decided to move for some reason I can't remember. But I'm glad because now the witchy shop has expanded, like, the cash register part of the shop when I went the first time was pretty... There wasn't as many things on it. Now you go and there's just... She's prospering. She, <laughs> she's got stuff going. Um, what else about the witchy shop? I don't know. I mean, there's not really too much to say, like, yeah, it was exciting and an experience and just overall good. But, like, we really just went in there to, like, look around, like, window shop. Like, I just wanted to be able to experience the first time going to a witchy shop and just seeing what kind of witchy things were available to witches because like you can see stuff online you can see stuff on tv in the movies but to actually be in a place where you can be a part of a, a community was just really cool so that yeah like I went to the witchy shop for the first time. We went back to school after that. We didn't skip the whole day, so... We did get some learning in, some experiences. But yeah, that's just a quick video for today. I hope you liked this story time. If you like this video, then hit the like button. If you have any suggestions for future videos, then leave it down in the comments. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Alright, bye guys. Windmill, 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 windmill for the land to I'm forever hand in hand. Take it all out on your stride, it is taking for all.